meeting is called to order. Public portion of the meeting begins. The New Jersey Open Public Meeting Law was enacted to ensure the rights of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the business administrator slash board secretary has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place there are posted on the bulletin board to the municipal building. I agree, 100%. <laughs> Communicated to the Hawthorne Press, the record and file with the clerk of the borough of Hawthorne. Roll call, please. Mr. Pavia? Here. Ms. Goss? Here. Mr. Poulos? Here. Mr. Pavia? Here. Mr. Reichert? Here. Ms. Sanford? Here. Ms. Sierra? Here. Mr. Parra? Here. Mr. Turco? Mr. Jones? Here. Would everyone please rise and join me for the next <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pursuant to the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Committee on Administration recommends the following resolution. Whereas, in observance of Youth in the Community Week, Students have been designated in place instead of the respective members of the local Board of Education. And whereas the said students shall conduct the business of the said board on the direction of the duly elected board members. And now, therefore, be it resolved by the Hawthorne Board of Education of the Borough of Hawthorne, Passaic County, that any and or any and or all actions on behalf of the said board are hereby and herewith ratified and confirmed as the official actions of the Board of Education, as if the same were acting directly and in person. I am not going to introduce them all individually. Not they are all afraid of being embarrassed. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we have a second on the motion. Second. Second by Mr. Smith. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Pavito? Yes. Ms. Goff? Yes. Mr. Pulus? Yes. Mr. Reicher? Yes. Ms. Sanford? Yes. Mrs. Scarron? Yes. Mr. Taro? Yes. Mr. Turco? Mr. Doyle? Yes. Hello. I'm Kylie. Okay. Meeting regulations. During each regular meeting, two opportunities are provided for citizens to ask questions and to make comments. During the first opportunity, early on the agenda, the meeting is open to the public for the purpose of addressing items listed for approval on this agenda only. The second opportunity occurs just prior to adjournment, when citizens may address any subject matter that is pertinent to and or directly related to the operation of the school district. Persons wishing to speak must, upon being recognized, rise, sign in, state their name, address, and subject matter. Comments and questions shall be addressed to the board president or the presiding officer and shall be limited to five minutes per person. The board may or may not respond to issues raised by members of the public at the time they are raised, but will provide a response if and when appropriate. The board asks that members of the public be courteous and mindful to the rights of other individuals when speaking. Please note that the board will not respond to comments regarding students or board employees in light of the privacy rights held by those individuals. Moreover, the board discourages comments about such individuals and will not be responsible for such comments. Members of the public who choose to speak during this public session should carefully consider their comments since they can be held personally liable for any statements they make. Finally, please note that in accordance with the district policy that the board, the board will not officially comment or respond to any matter met mentioned unless it can confirm that the matter has been first, first been brought to the attention of the appropriate school personnel and attempt to resolve the issue. Public be heard, agenda items only. Seeing no one. Approval of minutes. April 9th, 2019, regular meeting, public and private. April 29th, 2019, televised budget presentation. Motion by Ms. Walsh. Second. Second. Second by Ms. Power. <laughs> Discussion. Roll call. Ms. Lewis. Yes. Ms. Tower. 
Our PTO groups here. <laughs> I'm going to let my student rep take over in a second, but we're, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a few minutes just to honor our Governor Educator of the Year recipients from each of our schools. All right, so with that said, okay. the Superintendent, go ahead, it's all yours. As a part of the Teacher Appreciation Week, we feel it is important to thank our teachers for all that they do for the students throughout the school year. The principals and I, as well as Mr. Sprito, witness the great teaching on a daily basis as I see the positive impact throughout the school year that these teachers have made on the lives of the students. I can proudly say that Hawkeye teachers do make a difference and for that we thank them. Now we would like to take a few moments to introduce our Hawthorne Public Schools 2018 and 19 Governor's Education of the Year recipients. Mrs. Fadden, the HTA President, and Mr. Sprita will accompany these teachers on the countywide luncheon on Friday, May 31st at the Brownstone. Our first recipient is Ms. Michelle Cardiello. Ms. Cardiello is a special education teacher at Washington School and has served the district of Hawthorne for the past nine years. Mrs. Spinelli, the principal at Washington School, shared that Mrs. Cordiello is a talented educator and continues to prove that, that each day. She also shared that Mrs. Cordiello maintains a classroom environment in which there is respect and acceptance of all students. She helps students to understand the concept of inner strength as it pertains to meeting goals and making good decisions. Ms. Cardiello also has a way of finding the positive element in all the situations. Her ability to connect, to connect with her students and support them in their efforts is truly superior. Ms. Cardiello is well respected by parents and her colleagues and we are proud to recognize her as one of our Governor Educator of the Year recipients. Congratulations. excels in her classroom. However, her efforts beyond the classroom also reveal a desire to make a positive impact on the greater school community. Some of Mrs. Daniel's additional activities include her leadership in the Beautification Brigade and the involvement of the School Security Committee, the School Newspaper Committee, and the School Improvement Panel. Mrs. Daniel also serves as the Roosevelt School Liaison for the district-wide Earth Day com commemoration known as Celebration. Mrs. Daniel is seen as a role model for her students at Roosevelt School. We appreciate that all Mrs. Daniel continues to do for the district and the community. On behalf of the Board of Education and the Administration, we are pleased to present the Governor Educa Educator of the Year Award to Mrs. Daniel. principal shared that Mrs. Donatello consistently creates student-centered le lessons, engages students in learning throughout the innovative lessons design. She also learned that Mrs. Donatello makes significant contributions to Lincoln Middle School beyond the classroom, is always willing to go above and beyond for the benefit of the students at Lincoln Middle School. One example that Mrs. Donatello's involvement shows is the implementation, implementation of the Anti-Bullying Club at LMS. She also played a significant role in creating a video demonstrating the diversity of students and staff at LMS. 
We are proud to recognize Mrs. Donatello as the Lincoln Middle School Governor and Ed Educator of the Year Award. Congratulations. finding creative and effective ways to meet the diverse needs and interests of all of her students. Mr. Drosky, Jefferson School Principal, shared that Mrs. Rubin is a role model for students and staff at Jefferson School. She also, he also shared that Mrs. Rubin participates beyond instructional practices and is always at the heart of the school community. She consistently takes the lead to help run different fundraisers or social awareness projects, including Jefferson School's UNICEF and autism awareness campaigns. Mr. Drusky feels that Mrs. Rubin is an inspiration as she continues to show her passion for her craft and always does what's best for the students. Mrs. Rubin, we appreciate all that you do for Jefferson School. We offer you congratulations on this well-deserved honor. students and a team player with his colleagues. From the Hawthorne High School spring productions to marching band competitions to fundraisers to school events to local parades and performances in town, Mr. Williams is always willing to help out. As per HHS principal Mr. Cunningham, Mr. Williams puts many hours into the Hawthorne High School marching band and their rehearsals including school, breaks, summer, and endless nights. Mr. Williams is always willing to do what needs to be done to ensure that his students are prepared and confident in their performances. Finally, Mr. Williams is respected by his students and his colleagues. We are proud to recognize him as Southern High School Governor Educator of the Year recipient. Mr. Williams, congratulations. Before we're going to take a picture in a moment, uh, but before we do that, uh, I know Ms. Farkas is here on behalf of the HTA. Who would like to say a few words? Sure, um, On behalf of the Hawthorne Teacher Association, just wanted to say congratulations to the recipients, many of whom I've personally been able to work with. Um, we would just like to tell you that we are honored to have you representing us, not only tonight, but through the year. So, thank you so much. There, this year, uh, for the first time, we're going to be participating. There's actually a luncheon for all of our winners this year at the Brownstone, so we'll be participating on May 31st. Uh, then we'll be participating, and I know the HTA will be presenting our winners with something at that luncheon as well. So, congratulations again. Thank you. So,
approval of the 1918 bill. Um, I've heard, I approve all the bills. And so, so I. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Walsh. <laughs> Discussion. Roll call. Ms. Perini. Yes. Ms. Walsh. Yes. Ms. Scott. Yes. Ms. Sendman. Yes. Ms. Kalijo. Yes. Ms. Lewis? Yes. Ms. Tower? Yes. Ms. Angeles? Yes. Ms. Rico? Yes. Buildings and grounds. Ms. Walsh. Pursuant to the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Committee on Buildings and Grounds recommends the following resolutions. BG 55 on page 11. BG 56 and 57 on page 12. BG 58 and 59 on page 13 and BG 66 and 67 on the vote for agenda. On behalf of the committee, I have so moved. I have a second. Second. Second by Ms. Perini. Discussion? Roll call. Ms. Walsh? Yes. Ms. Scott? Yes. Ms. Sendman? Yes. Ms. Cladijo? Yes. Ms. Lewis? Yes. Ms. Tower? Yes. Ms. Ramos? Or Ms. Angeles? Ms. Perini? Yes. Ms. Rico? Yes. Committee and liaison reports. Negotiations by Ms. Cookie Hopes. Thank you. The board's negotiating committee is scheduled uh, to meet with administrative assistant representatives this coming Tuesday, May 14th and May 16th. We look forward to a smooth process and will report on our progress. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rico. Referendum by Ms. Rico. <laughs> referendum committee, two presentations on the Hallmark Public Schools 2019 referendum have already been given. This past Tuesday, we presented to the Washington School PTO, and yesterday, we presented to the Lincoln Middle School PTO. At both meetings, those in attendance were very engaged and asked some very good questions. Tomorrow evening, we will be presenting to the HHS band parents in the band room at 7 p.m. On Thursday evening, we will be presenting to the Roosevelt PTO in the Roosevelt cafeteria at 8 p.m. All are welcome to attend. When you have a chance, please visit the district's website and check out all the information that is available on the referendum as well as a schedule of the upcoming presentations. Thank you. Uh, curriculum and instruction by Ms. Lewis. We are extremely excited about the addition of a STEM supervisor to support our growing K-12 STEM program. Our new STEM supervisor will provide leadership and guidance for the district's STEM teachers and coordinate curriculum, resources and activities for our elementary, STEM courses. Additionally, the STEM supervisor will provide support and professional development for our K-12 math program needs. Congratulations to the past goal of being appointed to this new role. The district is beginning the process of developing curriculum for 11 new courses at Hawking High School to support the small learning communities for the 2019-2020 school year. These courses include STEM design and process, computer programming and design, business calculus and statistics, descriptive statistics, AP Human Geography, AP Computer Science Principles, Elements of Public Speaking and Debate, Introduction to E-Commerce, Fashion Merchandising and Design, AP Psychology and Public Cultures. Lincoln Middle School will have two new courses for the 2019-2020 school year. Lab and Language These new courses will serve students in all three grade levels and will function as a small group of personalized learning courses to enhance and support fluency skills, curriculum standards, and class content. Courses will be offered for one more period in lieu of an elective based on the student prioritizing list. Thank you. Policy by Ms. No report at this time. Thank you. Uh, have CPAC PTOs, Ms. Tower. Let's start tonight with CPAC. This past Sunday, we completed our fourth annual 5K color run. Despite the rain, the events with was well attended and we look forward to reporting back next month, next month with final figures of attendance as well as money rates. The first, second, and third place winners this year were all HHS students. We are also proud to report that the t-shirts this year were made by our very own Bear Cave students. Our next meeting will be May 22nd at 7 p.m. Mr. Sprito will be one of our guest speakers. We will also have Jennifer Owens from Regional Family Support Planning Council speaking about their group and outreach to parents. Moving on to 
Thank you. Nope. Moving on to the Education Foundation. After all the months of reporting and all the planning, the day is finally here. The second annual food truck festival will be held Sunday, May 19th at Copper Park, Diamond Ridge Ave entrance. We have nine awesome food trucks attending this great event. There will be inflatables for the kids. And thank you to some of the HHS students who have volunteered. There will be also face painting and arts and crafts. There will be plenty of food and fun for adults as well. The cost is $5 to enter. Under age three is great. We are expecting over 1,000 people to attend throughout the day. Please stop by for some food and fun Sunday, May 19th. And that concludes our meeting. Thank you. Family engagement. Ms. Tower. Um, buildings and grounds, Ms. Walsh. With an early board meeting this month and spring break, the BNG committee did not meet this month, but we are providing a list of projects that were accomplished over spring break. Installed a washer and dryer in the old home economics room in Lincoln Middle School. Installed new hot wells and a steam table in the high school cafeteria. Installed a new TV in the cafeteria at Lincoln Middle School. This TV was purchased by the Hawthorne Boys and Girls Club and it will be used to run announcements and upcoming events. Finished installing exterior LED lights at LMS. New exterior strobe lights were installed at all schools to alert visitors that the school's in lockdown. Reviewed prices for the purchase of a new 54 passenger school bus. Painted room 101 at LMS. Custodians cleaned and sanitized rooms at all schools. Thank you. Uh, NJSBA, Ms. Walsh. On Monday, May 13th, the New Jersey School Board Association will have a special education symposium that will provide an overview of special education in New Jersey and the latest developments in the field. The day will include a variety of breakout sessions, general sessions, and a networking lunch. The event will be held at the Conference Center at Mercer County College, 1200 Old Trenton Road, Princeton Junction, New Jersey, 05. 08550 between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The New Jersey School Boards Association Delegate Assembly will meet on Saturday, May 18th at 9 a.m. in the Conference Center at Mercer County Community College in West Windsor. The NJSBA reminds all school boards that decisions made by each delegate assembly are followed by action that often results in the introduction of legislation, the stopping of undesirable legislation, or the adoption of new State Board of Education policy. This delegate assembly gives local school boards the opportunity for input before these far-reaching statewide policy decisions are made. This concludes my report. Thank you. Finance and administration is for you. We did not have a finance committee meeting this month. The budget was presented to the public on Monday, 4th Thank you. Uh, legislative, Ms. Green. This month, there are some dates to note. The governor proclaimed special education week in New Jersey, May 12th through May 18th. The theme is building a brighter future one day at a time. The New Jersey School Board Association Legislative Day is scheduled for May 16th. June 7th to June 7th, School Security and Student Safety Conference in West Windsor, New Jersey. Board members and superintendents are invited to the NJIT Forum on STEM, 7 to 16th. Uh, council liaison, uh, Ms. Scott. The following notes are from the May 1st, 2019 Council meeting. Mayor Goldberg, Eric Peterson, Avenue of Memory Avenue, in memory of Fire Rock First Class Joseph T. Duffy, U.S. Navy. This will be one of four streets dedicated this year. April 30th was the annual senior dress rehearsal dinner, which was well attended, and the HS Drum High School Drama Club performed live dress rehearsal at Bye Bye Birdie for all. Borough tennis courts have been reopened, which were recently renovated. A portion of the funding was provided by a grant from Columbia Bank Foundation and the Passaic County Open Space Funds by Board of Chosen Three Holders. Our high school students utilize these courts, and I am sure are eager to do so. The mayor reminded all that the Memorial Day parade will be held on May 27th at 1.30 p.m. Mayor Goldberg also reminded everyone that May is meant to help wear this month. He presented a certification to Joe Ross, Chairperson of the Hawthorne Signal Street Youth Committee. The Boys and Girls Club is also working with their Keystone, which is supporting their members in the Signal Street community as well. This is an important topic, and I'm glad we are at the forefront of addressing this matter. Thank you. 
PCSBA, Ms. Sendman. No report. Thank you. Uh, public be heard. Come up here to the podium. Oh, please. please. Hi, my name is Kelly Gay Dome and I live at 1564 Staten Park. Good evening, superintendent and board members. I'm here on behalf of my son, Stephen Gay Dome, a child on the autism spectrum and other related disabilities. My son currently attends Roosevelt Elementary School. He has been put on home instruction by a psychiatrist. Due to the lack of support in his school by the entire team, I am here today to ask for my son's services and to assure that the district follows the request made by his doctor, which by law must be followed. I am requesting a meeting with the school team also. School is supposed to be a place where my son should feel at home and the parent welcome, but this is not the case. I hope you take this into consideration and do the right thing. Stephen is entitled to a free, appropriate public education. Thank you. So you understand the process of what these students went through today. We actually came up to the board office this morning. We, we talked about uh, board operations. We walked through the process. Uh, and uh, again, I hope they enjoyed the experience tonight. As well, uh, not just these students participated with the board members, but we had other students. I don't know, uh, Mr. Cunningham, if you want to introduce the students who 
participated in the school. They had uh, other students who shadowed some of the administrators. So, sure. you want to um, them? my shadow today was uh, Jamie Hanson. Right we had um, Cindy Navarro, who shadowed Mr. Pangoli. Uh, he shadowed Mr. Zaka. <laughs> we had Melissa Jackler, who shadowed Ms. Slager. Ms. Hi, that's well. Thank you. As well, I'm shadowed Mr. Bowman today. Gene um, Walsh, I'm sorry, shadowed Sir. Not really. We, can be, we took her. We still have yes. Mr. Prisley. Yeah. <laughs> we, we had a couple absentees today. So. But it, overall, it was a great day, great program, great experience for the kids to be involved in this process. So thank you for that. Thank you. 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 Thank you.